Hi there everybody, my name is Jonathan. Today what we're going to do is be able to change entire system icons such as the hard drive, the time machine backup icon, your external hard drive, your finder icon, your iTunes icon, anything like that. Anything you want, you can change it. To do this, what you need is to download two programs. All these programs do is one, edit the images, and two, reconvert them after we've edited them. These two are called... Let me just write them down here for you. They're called Pixen and Image2 Icons icons. Pixen and Image2 icons. You can download these off my website, www.jpfilms.site88.net. And uh, they're they're both free. You can download them there. Please download from there. First off. Damn. First off, go to Macintosh hard drive. Damn. Damn. Oh, wait, I have a time machine. I'm all good. I was freaking out there because I've been trying to do this about three times, this whole filming thing, and I've uh, changed my stick at Sticky's one. It looks modified, and I've deleted my backup. But I have a time machine, so I'm all good. First off, what you're going to do is you're going to go to a Macintosh hard drive. Macintosh hard drive, system. System library. And then you're going to go to core services. Then you will go down to core types dot bundle, right click, show package contents. You'll see contents. Then you're going to click resources. And in this folder are all your system icons. If you tap one at the top, and then hit spacebar, you can see, and as you push your down arrow key, you'll cycle through all the icons. Do, 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 do. There's your application, or there's the burnable folder one. And they're all named appropriately, so you can, you can see them all. Oh, there's time machine. Yeah. Let's go ahead and change the time machine. Let's change the look of the time machine. So what you're going to do is we know that it's in resources and it's called generic time machine. Right click it, copy, paste it to your desktop, paste item. Now we have generic time machine disk icon dot icons, or icons. I call it icons, it just sounds neat. Now what you're going to do is you can minimize or close resources. What you're going to do with that icons one is now you're going to go and open terminal. Finder, Applications, Utilities, Terminal. And you are going to type, I'm doing this all off memory, okay? So be patient. CD space desktop. So now you're, oh, sorry. CD desktop. Now you're looking at the desktop. Now what you're going to do is you're going to type SIPS, S-I-P-S, space, dash S, space, format, space, the name of it. So I'm, I'm just going to copy the name because it's way too long. C, or command B, sorry, sorry, after the word format, you're going to put PNG, SIPS dash S format PNG generic time machine disk icon dot icons, and then you're going to go space dash dash out, space, the same name again, command V, but this time the extension being dot PNG. Let me just verify SIPS dash dash format PNG. There's an extra space there. Oh, I didn't do it. Oh, that's neat. Okay, and it goes out to time machine.png. Press enter and look at your desktop, and ta da! Now we have a PNG version. You can close out a terminal now. Now that PNG version, make a new folder. Just call it PNG. Just to keep everything tidy, drag those two into PNG. Now, in that PNG folder, you are going to take that PNG file. Actually, you're not going to take it or do anything. You're going to open Finder, and go to Applications, and go to Pixen. Use Photoshop if you can, because it's great. Pixen, and you're going to File, Open. You're going to open that PNG. Generic Time Machine Disk Icon PNG. Open. It's gonna open it. Oh, pretty, nice and high quality. On the front, you can't really see it. So let's let's make the case color. What the heck is that? 
Ooh, are they trying to subliminalize us? What is that? I didn't draw that. Actually, maybe I did. Maybe I skewed it. No, I didn't draw that. I'm undoing it. Undo drawing. Undo drawing. Undo drawing. No, I didn't draw that. That I drew, though. Oh, now it's gone. Okay, that's just wonky. Okay, never mind, they're not trying to subliminalize us. Okay, let's make the case this dark blue. So it's like a shadow. Make it nice and perfect. Perfect. Control Command S to save, and you can close out, and then close out of Pixen. Good, so now we have our PNG image that is edited. You can see there, ooh, pretty, this is our original. So there's our original. There's our modified. No, it doesn't look as great, but A, you can do better in Photoshop. Way better. Okay, so now what you're going to do is now that we have the modified PNG, we need to bring it back to icons or icons. So what you're going to do is you are going to open the other program I had you download, Image to Icons, Finder, Applications, I am Image to Icons, open it. It's simple. It's very nice. I like it. It's just that. And it's an Icons file, and all you do is now go to back to your desktop, that PNG folder, drag your PNG image into Image to Icon, drop it, you can see on your desktop, it has converted back to uh, Icons. So now what you can do is close out of both those windows. And now what you need to do is, hey, that actually does look pretty good for a Time Machine one compared to the other. I like it. Okay, so now what you're going to do is go back to Resources, your resource folder, um, Macintosh hard drive system, library, core services, core types, bundle, contents, resources, generic time machine disk icon and what you're going to do is drag generic time machine icon from the desktop into resources Boop. it's gonna say hey this is protected folder you need to authenticate this authenticate then it's gonna say hey it's protected or it's uh, there's an older version replace then it's gonna have you enter your password which I'm not going to reveal enter oh magicness it's changed now as you can see on your desktop it has not changed because you need to log off and log back on or restart. This is the first time I've done this with a system one, so you've been watching my first time experience, and I'm going to come back as soon as I've logged back off, uh, logged back on, so by that for now. Hey guys, I logged off and logged on, and well, you guys just wasted your eight minutes because it worked! It's blue! It's blue! Oh yeah, it's blue! Anyways, it worked, and I'm happy, so you should be happy too. It's blue. So this means you can change any system icon thingamajig in your computer, as long as you do what I showed you in the video. So, thank you for watching, www.jpfilms.site88.net. Have a good day, be happy, and good days are good. So bye. Oh, and by the way, here's a little bonus tip so you don't go wasting like seven hours trying to change your calendar or iTunes icon. To do that, all you need to do is right click, click iTunes, show in Finder. You'll see it in Finder as iTunes. Then what you do is right click, show package contents, contents, resources, scroll down, and look for iTunes.icons. It's right there, so that's the file you would change. Okay, that's just to let you know. Same with calendar. Have a good day. www.jpfilms.site88.net. Bye.